Hello humans and humanoids. Welcome to the talk on Animal, a highly mobile and dynamic quadrupedal robot. Oh, Robotic Systems Lab has developed Animal, a high performance quadrupedal robot. Well, I have no idea about this. I need to consult Daisy. Hey Daisy, as a professional roboticist, can you tell me more about this latest innovation called Animal? Sure, John. Let us understand this in detail. Animal is a highly mobile and dynamic quadrupedal robot that was developed by Professor Marco Hutter and the Robotic System Lab at ETH Zurich. The animal has outdoor stability, includes low maintenance, has easy handling with control bandwidth of 70 Hz, can perform complex tasks and requires less than 280 watts. Robots with high performance. A legged robot has many advantages over a wheeled bot. Legged bots can interact better with the environment, are more agile, involve better utilization of space, provide stability, and can perform many operations. Do you know that Animal is not the only legged bot? IIT's HYQ and HYQ2 Max and MIT's Cheetah are some of the examples of legged bots which have been developed earlier. Before developing Animal, the same lab developed Star Riot. Many operational configurations of Animal have been adopted from it. What makes it so important and interesting? Animal deals with many crucial objectives, making it very essential. The development of Animal deals with the objective of improving mobility, locomotion skills, robustness, handling and ensuring simple maintenance. But why are we designing legged bots so late? Well, lack of resources was the major issue. Have a look. These challenges include technological complexity, insufficient resources and a lack of interest from the side of developers which attracted low investment. The situation only got worse with low-level research programs. Great. Now I am in a state to define the primary research question. How do we solve the primary impediments to having a legged robot that can be used for real-life applications? Perfect, John. Now it's time to go through a major contribution of this research. Any drive boasts of high impact robustness, fast motion tracking, and a low impedance force controllability. Its compliant joint units have highly integrated series actuators. Before you move forward, let me think of some applications of the great animal. The success of this bot lies in its long endurance autonomous operation in harsh environments. The bot is participating in search and rescue grand challenge by Swiss NCCR and in Argos oil and gas applications. Animal is capable of mapping the environment and localizing itself to reach the goal position while avoiding obstacles. It accepts user commands to robustly integrate mechanical structure and control system to perform a range of gates, even in uneven terrain, ensuring mobility in harsh environment. The robot has the following effective applications, right Daisy? Absolutely correct. Now let's check the methodology the research has followed. The author started the paper with the introduction of the actuation concepts used in Animal, then explains the control configuration of the machine. The paper then focuses on the embodiment design of Animal and explains the evaluation in terms of experiments. Great. What is the exact body structure and architecture configuration? Animal is very well planned. Let us have a look at the system's configuration. Animal houses a battery with operation time of more than 2 hours. It has a detachable joint module consisting of joint actuators, carbon legs and tactile feet consisting of sensors and has a mountable tilt head. They all are connected to the main body which acts as a heat sink surrounded by a protection frame. Animal involves extensive use of robot operating system which is a development platform for autonomous machines. It involves master and slave nodes and implements the algorithms of CAN interfacing state controller SLAM and AMCL. The software part involves three PCs. The first involves inspection and reporting. The next deals with the autonomous navigation of bot in the user-defined path. And the final causes the implementation of state controllers and planners. Thus, the three layers interact with each other and implement CAN interfacing to control the bot movement and map the receive command from ROS into hardware controls. What about the performance? Any experiments performed? Yes, John. Several major experiments were conducted. We will understand all in detail. The animal's performance was tested for the process of walking, trotting and stair climbing. It was made to walk along a predefined trajectory and involved simultaneous movement of leg and shifting of the base to maintain stability. The performance chart shows the level of stability while the bot walks. The closeness in desired and obtained results proves the efficiency. 
trotting, which is somewhat fast walking, was performed, which yielded a speed of 0.8 meters per second and provided efficient path tracking. The observed data shows a negligible fluctuation of 5% in power consumption while standing and trotting. Animal effectively climbed up an industrial ladder inclined at 50 degrees. It achieved this by spreading out its legs like a turtle while its main body lay directly on the ground.